y'all welcome back to the nurse nook so today as a little bit of a different video it's not like a regular sit down talk to you about stuff i wanted to show you guys how i organize my supplies for a nursing school so right behind me right here is my dresser I'll show you guys that and this is what i keep my um school supplies in because my room is like not really that big it's like a quick once over so I don't have space for like a desk or anything so I keep all my supplies in this dresser right here and when I'm like ready to study or do like schoolwork I just take it out to like the kitchen or the living room and I like work on that table because I cannot focus in here I will like be on Twitter on Instagram like surfing the web I cannot focus in my room so like I like to keep all my stuff like away and hidden so it doesn't look a hot mess but let me show you guys how I organize my stuff. So this is how it looks. And this is the tree you guys always see behind me in the little backdrop. So when you open it, this is what my little nursing shelf looks like. This bottom shelf is just where I keep like my perfumes, like my badges for my hospital badges, my work badge. Um, just jewelry and I keep all my nail supplies in here and over here I just have this really old poster that I have from like ninth grade year be somebody you would be proud to know and then on this side I have a bunch of birthday cards like old pictures and then I have this little um oh my gosh why can't I think I hang my stethoscope up on this because I don't just like to hang it around anywhere just throw it anywhere so I like to have it um hung up on this thing right here and this door will not stay open because of the tree behind it but anyway this is what my shelf looks like this is all my school supplies so let me start on this side so this little hour right here is full of like hospital supplies I have a tourniquet in here and then like a bunch of alcohol swabs and tape so basically what this little thing is when i come home from work as a tech every day i always have a bunch of crap in my pockets from the day at the hospital like gauze um tourniquets like you see alcohol swabs so i just throw whatever i have in this little owl because i don't like to throw stuff out and you never know when you're gonna need a tourniquet and draw blood and this little um duck right here is actually from one of my clinical instructors for my first semester she gave us all like little nursing ducks and I always keep it here because it's so cute. So this right here is the NCLEX RN medication flashcards. I actually just recently got this because I got a $350 grant from school to buy books. And I pretty much had all the books I needed. So I'm like, okay, what can I get that would be helpful? And I didn't do so well on my um, ATI medication exam my sorry not medication my pharmacology exam so I figured I'd get this to help me practice for the NCLEX and it just says like common side effects like what you should know as a nurse administering this and just like cute little things that would be helpful to learn for the NCLEX so I got that and behind that I have this little basket and what's in this basket is just a bunch of school supplies so I have index cards here, I have a bunch of post-it notes, extra tape, I have a stapler, just uh, a bunch of paper clips, like just stuff I would need for school supplies. And underneath that is this little bin that I have here. Let me bring this to my bed. So what is in this bin is just art supplies. And arts and crafts supplies I like to do like a lot of little projects especially for like people's birthdays and stuff I like to like make them like cute little like frames or like little art projects so that's what I have in here just like markers stickers letters um, uh, tape, glitter like just little sticker stuff so that is what is in here so moving along what I have over here are all my textbooks so I have my nurses pocket guide and these are all the ATI books that I have that I bought for 700 and something dollars way too expensive for these books just these books 
Here is my Davis Drug Guide. I have my food and electrolytes made incredibly easy. These books are amazing, the incredibly easy books. I have my doses calculations, my foundation, skills, a health assessment. I actually try to sell these back to the bookstore, but they wouldn't take it. Like, rude. Um, I got these binders, which I just have like old notes in. I'll show you guys one of them. So like this binder, these are just notes from, um, I think my first med surge class, which is my basic med surge. And then I just have them tapped off and it's just the same thing throughout. I don't like to keep all my old notes because I honestly never look back at them. So I just don't see the reason to keep it, but I kept those because I felt like those were helpful. So over here, I have just a bunch of computer paper because as you guys know, I hand write all of my notes on paper. So that's what I use that for. And then just folders, loosely paper. And then I have like, I honestly don't know why I have these because I never use them. But this is what you put your reports in, like report covers. I don't know, this is probably like from when I was uh, a freshman in college. And then I just have folders, manila folders. And then over here, I just have a little cup and my poor USB, y'all. Look at this USB. Like, RIP RIP to this little USB. But it still works perfectly, so. And I have a lot of important stuff in here, so I will keep that. And then I have a bunch of paper clips and these little things that go on your pens. And these are, like, all my pens that I have a bunch of them i have another actually let me get it for y'all this is like a little ipsy bag my friend gave me that she doesn't use anymore but in here is where i keep the colored pens that i do all my notes with because i need colored pens to be interested when writing my notes because i get bored so easily so this is what i use to do all my notes Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much how I organize all my school supplies. This is everything I need for studying for school. Besides my lab kit that I bring, this is everything that I need. Oh, and my computer obviously, but I'm not going to keep that in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.